Good day, my scholars. My name is Abiola. And in the My School Channel, we are treating the Jam CBT Pass question for the subject biology, the year 2015. Hold on, stay with us, and we'll be right back. back to my school channel and in this video clip we are solving questions 55 to 68 so let's start with question 55 plants that survive in marine habitats are called what okay when you talk about allophytes allo means salt so salty environment when you talk about hydrophytes we're talking about a well watered or aquatic uh, environment okay when you talk about mesophytes they just um, need adequate supply of water, okay? Zero fight, we are talking about um, a dry conditioned environment. So, the correct option here is option B for hydrophyte. Number 56. The study of plants is called what? Okay, so what is zoology? You know, log the logic there is from the Greek word study, okay? So, zoology means you're studying animals, just to put it um, simply or plainly. Uh, we have entomology that is study of insects you know, in relation to man, to other organisms and their environment. Parasitology, parasites. Okay, I think that is very um, exposed from the world. Okay, then we have botany that is the study of plants to put it. Alright, so the correct option is option D. Botany is the study of plants. Number 57. The following are examples of airborne diseases, except what, okay? We're talking about diseases that can be transmitted or communicable through the hair. All right, so let's look at the first one, chicken pox. The pathogen is the herpes virus, okay? So this is airborne and also by close contact. Cholera, vibrocholera, okay? That's a bacteria. So this is true uh, when you have contact with contaminated food or water and also you know when all these are flies okay then we have um common code this is caused by a variety of viruses this is airborne all right so then let's look at whooping cough is caused by the pathogen uh, body teller pertussis okay this is airborne so we have airborne 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 and this is contact with contaminated food and water. So the correct option here or the exception we have here is option B for cholera. 58. Which of the following is the end product of the digestion of oil? Okay, so uh, if I'm talking about fat, I'm talking about oil. Okay, I'm going to involve lipase, that enzyme. And when it is broken down, what you should get is glycerol. And I can also refer uh, to fatty acid as well. So, looking at the options given us, this is the correct option, glycerol. 59. The part that supplies food from the mother to the fetus is the what? Okay? That part is actually the placenta. Alright? It contains the maternal tissue and the embryonic tissue okay so all of this just this placenta allows for a kind of a um, transaction or exchange between the fetus okay and the mother all right so you see that um, there is a particular space all right in the placenta where the um, the filter capillaries or the filter tissues okay they come in very close contact all right with the maternal tissue so at that um, contact of course there is a kind of um, uh, there's a kind of space in between them that does not allow this blood to mix however this also allows for exchange of materials like for instance you know um you talk about maternal supplies like um, oxygen and nutrient they would diffuse from the maternal blood into the fertile tissues okay then carbon carbon dioxide talk about urea and the likes they move from the fetal tissue into the maternal tissue okay into those blood in those tissues and that's how the exchange goes on so the umbilical cord connects the placenta to the fetus all right so i'm just trying to put this as uh, plain as possible i hope it's very helpful so the correct option to the question is option d for placenta 
please don't forget that you can get any of the my school tools all you need to do click on that link in the description below it's going to move you to the my school website where you can get the my school mobile app or the my school software so join me as we solve question 60. which of these is not part of the high okay the answer is cochlear this uh, this looks like a snail shell is responsible for hearing okay just like we talk about the semicircular canals responsible for balance so this is found in the ear um, the conjunctiva serves as a protective function to the cornea you know the the cornea is is also found in this the sclera all right the outermost layer of the high or yes of the high of course so you know the cornea is formed from um, the sclera being when it bulges out so it forms this transparent cornea talking about the iris you know it houses the pupil through which light enters the high so the correct option here is option a for cochlear it is nails it looks like a snail shell all right and is responsible for hearing so do not forget to hit the like button also tap on the subscribe button and always hit bell notification so you can get alert as soon as we upload the next videos number 61 the oxygenated blood is transported to the lungs through the words okay this is through the pulmonary artery okay let's talk about the renal vein you know it um, drains the kidney of um, oxygen depleted blood uh, the hepatic portal vein and the hepatic artery they are talking about the liver okay um, we're talking about the pulmonary vein uh, it, it actually carries um, oxygenated blood or oxygen-rich blood, all right, from the lungs into the left auricle. So the correct option here is option C for the pulmonary artery. 62. One of the following is a unit of life, okay, that is cell. Remember, the common definition for cell, cell is a structural and functional unit of life, unit of life. So that is cell, you know, when cells come together, they form tissues talk about tissues coming together to form organs then organs talk about system the system talk about hemocellular organism so the correct option here is option a for cell question 63 the following are examples of a true fruit except what okay so when we talk about uh, the classification of fruits we have the true and the false fruits we have the simple we have the aggregates and the composite slash the multiple fruits we have the fleshy or the dry fruits we have a decent and indecent fruit so let's go back to the question given us so we are asked that the following are examples of a true fruit except what so at first we have to know that what uh, what if a true fruit is okay a true fruit is one that is developed from a fertilized ovary a very good example you talk about mango all right and when you talk about a false fruit a false fruit is developed or formed from ovary and other floral parts in the examples we have figs we have pineapple we have apple we have breadfruit and what have you so i just mentioned pineapple so pineapple is a false fruit so the correct option here is option d for pineapple do not forget that you can ask your questions right now all you need to do click on that link in the description below it's going to take you to the my school website where you ask your questions and our solution providers are going to attend to you so join me as we solve the next question the vector that transmits trypanosome is the what okay you know trypanosome is transmitted through the bite of an infected ccs fly all right so butterfly is a very good pollinator um housefly you know you talk about cholera you talk about amoebic dysentery and what have you Mosqu uh, mosquitoes are popular for malaria all right so the correct option is option d for ccs fly please you may have better solutions or explanations to any of the questions we have solved so far we like to know all you need to do use that comment section below indicate the question number and the explanations you like to recommend 65 the following are dotless gland except what okay so when you talk about um, dotless gland you're talking about gland that just um, release or uh, um, their hormones directly into the bloodstream okay so uh, we have the adrenal all right we have the pancreas we have the parathyroid and the thyroid we have the pituitary gland all right uh, we have the gonads and what have you so the correct option here the exception here is the salivary gland so this is endocrine or dotless gland endocrine endocrine except this so option d is the correct option 66 
white blood cells are also known as what? Okay, they are known as leukocytes. Okay, erythrocytes that is for red blood cells. So the correct option here is option B for leukocytes. 67. The removal of remnant particles of digestion from the body is called what? Okay, take note of remnant particles of digestion. That is ejection. It's different from excretion. No, excretion is the removal of metabolic waste products. And most times when we talk about injection, it occurs through the anus or the mouth. Example, your jellyfish. Okay, um, excretion can occur through the skin, the urethra, the mouth, and what have you. All right, um, this uh, uh, occurs only in animals. Why this happens both in plants and animals? So, just take note of this remnant particles of digestion. So, the correct option here is option B for ejection. Question 68 The enzyme tylene acts on starch in the way okay it is found in the salivary gland and that is in the mouth so it acts on the substrate starch okay to give you maltose and some other um, substances like that okay so the correct option is option c for mouth we've come to the end of this video segment for the subject biology the year 2015 but there are more video clips to come please do not forget that you have to hit the like button also click on the subscribe button and always tap on bell notifications so you can get alerts as soon as we upload the next video clips all for you